let God handle the impossible. Your value is about to be seen by everybody because you are the diamond in the rough. God's about to do a new thing with you. All my chosen ones, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do know when I post again. It's your boy Trap Trap, Trapanese, Spiritual Trap, whatever you want to call me. If you are anointed and appointed for the mission, please smash the thumbs up, put God got me. All my anointed and appointed ones to the mission, okay? You're breaking generational curses. You, you've been through hell and hot water and you made it out the storm, okay? You made, you, you've been calm through the storm. You've been obedient. You've been praying. You've been staying in your prayer closet, okay? You've been staying humble. Well, now is the time to let God move in on your life. All my chosen ones, smash the thumbs up and put God got me if he's going to move in on your life. And this resonates with you because I know it resonates with my chosen ones. But I was just breaking it down with you that don't limit yourself, okay? Let God do the impossible. See, the thing is with me, I've been battling lately. It's like, I'm over here trying to do the impossible. I'm over here trying to do great things. I'm over here trying to manifest things. And we forget that God's working out the back end. God is the master of the back end. God's the things, God is the master of the things that we can't see. Okay? So make sure that you keep God first. Make sure that you repent. Make sure that you're not just being religious, but you stand in your prayer closet and you're giving all glory to God. Okay? We get jaded. When we see other people do things, and we're like, man, we see people doing feats, and we're like, wow. You know, you tip our hats off to them, and then you wonder when your time's gonna come. You're not jealous, you're not bitter, you're not mad. You work you work your move, you know, you, you might make music, you might paint, you might art, but you're creative, you might, you might do business, you know, you might give back. And you're wondering when is that when is the impossible gonna move in on your life? I'm telling you right now, this this video is is the confirmation you just have to ride the wave. Okay? You have to let God do his thing. You have to let God move in on your life on his terms. As uncomfortable as these situations are gonna be, yeah, we, we 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 want things when we want them. Okay? We see things through a different lens, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Holy Spirit sees things that we don't see. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit picks up on vibrations. He knows what the people are gonna do before they do it. They know the people are gonna backstab. You know the people are gonna lash out. You know the people that are really jealous. So you know the people that uh, that mishandled you. But let God handle the impossible. You might think that your situation that you can't get out of, that you're the only person in the situation. Trust me, I know. Okay, but God won't forsake you. Let God move in on your life. He won't leave you. No, he won't forsake you. It's for my chosen ones that's been battling. It's, you know, it's been trying to do the impossible. Been trying to do the impossible. I'm trying to break generational curses. Been trying to level up, and just been seem to be stuck. Trust me, I know battling depression can be scarce. So if you guys probably wonder why I've been gone, I've been I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Okay, but I really want to say I let go and let God handle the impossible, because I you know. The, the things that we can't see, things that foreseen, we can't see those things in the spiritual realm, okay? We, we, you know, when you cut out certain things, that's when the devil is going to try to attack you. I've just recently stopped smoking weed, okay? And this is my testimony. My testimony is hopefully to anybody that's watching this, you know, thumbs up in the chat. But I, I realize I'm going to my, I'm being obedient with my only, you know, my higher calling. You know, staying down to the purpose and, and breaking all, not being of this world. The little things of this world is not going to mean much to you. But then when once everything starts, you start dissecting yourself, start realizing little layers of yourself, you know, little, little corners of your brain, corners of your mind that needed to be opened that you wouldn't have opened if you weren't around those people. If you weren't taking those type of, uh, if you were influenced by those people, influenced by those type of things that you ingest. It's all about intaking, and a lot of things is, is energy. So if you're if you're if you're constantly, you know, taking in all this energy, constantly, you know, smoking, chain smoking, you know, pe pe transferring of the, the the marijuana or transferring of the drink, the alcohol. I don't drink, by the way, but I I stopped smoking like four days ago, and I've been going through my withdrawals. And before that, I was going through a depression. I just want you guys to know if you guys are going through a depression, just let God do the impossible. Um, and I feel like my depression was because I wasn't letting God, I wasn't finding out the hidden meanings, you know? I, I didn't, I, I, I wasn't, wasn't believing in the restoration that God is, was granting anybody, you know? 
I'm sitting here like, oh man, hey, why, why this, why this happen? And you know what? Don't get so bitter that you shame God and you delay your blessings, okay? Because even though you're a chosen one, times get rough and you know you call out on the Lord so much. You've been, you've been obedient and sometimes you don't feel like, Lord, hears your cries, but he hears your cries. It's just not going to be on your time. He hears your cries. It's not just going to be on your time. He is in the land of miracle making. He makes anything possible. Let him handle the impossible. From your fresh look, from your, you know, let, let him, let him make you brand new. You're focused on the worldly things. Don't, don't attach yourself to the money. Don't attach yourself to everybody. You know, a Lamborghini, Lamborghini, you know, a Lamborghini or Ferrari or Benz, Bentley. We don't care about those things, those earthly things. Yeah, it's cool to strive to have, want to have those, you know, work hard. But let God, if God, you know, patience too. Patience. Be patient with yourself. And that's very key if you're anointed and pointed. Smash the thumbs up if you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And put chat, put it in the comments. You know, you got to show gratitude. You got to have hope. You got to have faith. You can't, you, you, you can't. You have to have faith as strong, as small as a mustard seed in this life. Because all these entities pulling you, look, today is the eighth. So you already know that the, the spirits are out. Spirits are out. It's 4 8 24, 2024. Now, if those aren't some great numbers, my birthday is in two days, by the way. Um, and we're talking about the world and we're talking about the community that, that they're in, the world that they're in. Like, you see all these meteor showers, you see all these lightning strikes, you see all these earthquakes and everything else. God is letting you know that let him handle the impossible because what you thought that wasn't possible, he can make possible in your life and outside your life, in the environment of this world and outside of this world. But you can't be in this world. You just live in it. Okay? So you treat people with kindness. You have empathy. You forgive. You have the love of God in your heart. And you understand that just because certain people move and operate in a certain energy, you don't need to be with them. You don't need to go around them. And and I'm just giving it to you real. Sometimes you outgrow situations and God's going to do the impossible and put you in the rooms that you never thought that you could be in. He's going to bring around people that you never thought. He's, he's going to soar above the people that wanted you below. Okay? He's going to... You're going to soar. You just got to stay focused in this season. Okay? You got to keep your eyes on the prize. You got to keep... And you know the eyes on the prizes is God. It's not the material things. It's not, oh, how hard you work. It's not, oh... Because at the end of the day, uh, I've seen people work 20 years straight. And guess what happens when that 20 years is gone? Their body breaks down. Guess what? They weren't... They were serving two masters. You know, so you have to really be aware and, and they, they know that at the end of the day, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve money and you cannot serve purpose at the same time. You cannot serve money. There's, there's a fine line. There's, there's a fine line in, in the middle of that. It's called the Holy Spirit. And he depicts on where, where to go and who and, and what to, who to give, who to forgive, what type of compassion to give, who, you know, people. But, oh, man, people, people. Uh, it's like hitting a lottery. People, people think like, oh, hitting a lottery. You know, no, God is not the lottery, okay? God is not the lottery. God is the impossible. He does the impossible. Let him handle the impossible. He is a possible and he's the impossible. Alpha and omega, the beginning and ending, the middle, the beginning, middle, and ending, okay? Don't get caught, don't get caught thinking that nothing, that, that nothing is impossible. I mean, don't get caught thinking that things that you want is impossible to have because you have to let God move in on your life. You have to open up to the gospel. You have to let go of certain things. You have to let go of certain, you know, devices that hold you in bondage spiritually. Now, I haven't really been getting a lot of sleep. Um, I've been trying to fight, you know, spiritual guidance, trying to understand the emotions of what I'm going through as a chosen one because I understand that, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. Okay. And then you pick up of your level of discernment, your knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and seeing that everybody that's around you doesn't have the same mindset as you. They they believe in God, but, you know, there's some people that believe in God. There's some people that don't believe in God. And they honestly, once you have strong faith, it's intimidation to a lot of people because they know that the impossible is possible. They know it. The Decepticon, the devil knows that God is going to handle the impossible for you in your life. You stay obedient. You, you know, you... You stay, you stay in your prayer closet. You stay purposeful. Okay, you, st you, you stay doing to others as you want to be treated. You keep, you give back. Okay. Now, there's some people that don't subscribe to this. 
some people that don't subscribe to God, there is a God. And that is the hypocrisy we live in that people don't think that God is real. And that's crazy too. Because when God's judgment comes, who's gonna save them? It's not gonna be the money, it's not gonna be the it's not gonna be their house, it's not gonna be their big old mansion. You just seen them shake the whole New York. You just seen them you know, strike strike the um Statue of Liberty, people are trying to say, Oh well that's just someone that's made of copper. Hmm, okay. Things you know, things don't happen as a coincidence, okay. So I just wanna let you guys know that like if you guys feel like you guys need some enlightenment, you guys need some, like things to meditate. Meditate on his word, and that's what I've been doing. I've been meditating on the frequencies of his word, you know. But God's gonna handle the impossible in your life. As right now, it might not be going the way you want it, trust me. I know. You might not be where you want to be, trust me, I know. I'm going through it too. But trust me, God has his handle. God's gonna handle the impossible for you. And he's gonna you're gonna shine bright like you're gonna shine bright like a light, I'm telling you. And you're going to shine bright in front of your haters' face. You're going to make your haters your footstool. I promise you. You're going to make people that doubted you. You're going to make people that breadcrumbed you. You know, that that that, that old place that didn't, that didn't, that, that, they, they didn't even like you. Let's be real. There's a lot of people when you're chosen, they be around you, but they really don't like you. They showcase, they showcase, they showcase snake qualities. Because you do, you, you do right by others. But see, when other people have that opportunity, they, they don't they know they don't they filter out the good and they do you dirty and unfortunately you have to let God move in on your life you have to let God handle these things you have to let God handle the impossible you have to let God free you up you have to you have to but you have to seek him you have to seek him too as well you can't just ask for things okay there's 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 some um type of assignment in your life and you know you need to you need to answer that call and you need to turn in that assignment on time because you can't you have you have no time to delay but god's gonna make that possible god's gonna make the impossible possible for you you might be going through a hard time i know you might be sick i know you might be hurt and heartbroken i know finances i know you might have tried so hard over years to get to breakthrough finally get your breakthrough and you've been trying and trying and trying and trying and all you can do today you know you've been crying and crying and crying you've been crying out to the lord well let me tell you something your lord hears your cries okay your your lord the lord sees your anxieties he's ready to calm you in the midst of this storm but you have to seek him and look sometimes children we don't know it all i don't know it all Okay, that's what makes me so human. I don't know. I'm not a God. People think that they're God, but I'm not God. People think they're chosen and they're holier than thou. No, you're not. Just, just be real. Okay? What you're doing is you're showcasing traits that don't really seem... But hey, I'm not trying to judge, judge nobody either. You know, because when things occur, you know... I concur. I'm just going to go ahead and I, I digress. Anyways, so like I said, you know, people are just going to be demonstrating a lot of type of different uh, character uh, flaws and they're going to be trying to uh, project a lot of things onto you in their insecurities. And honestly, God is going to move in on that too as well. Okay. Like I said, you're anointed and appointed for a mission. All right. You have no time. You have a vision. Okay. You might be down. You might be sleeping in your car. You might be sleeping outside. You might be sleeping in, in hotels. You might be sleeping at your friend's house. You might be sleeping on the couch. You might be sleeping outside. You might be sleeping, you know, but you. Have, but let me tell you something. You have a peace of mind sometimes to understand that God has an assignment on your life and you're going to weather this storm and God's going to handle the impossible. I want you to speak that right now and say, put in the chat, God's going to handle the impossible. I'm going to put God got me. Okay. Your, your, your issues is handled already. Okay, your next meal is already, or is already served up for you with the Lord. Okay, your mindfulness is going to open up doors for you. But you have to stay open and you have to answer that call. You have to stay on your purpose. You have to stay on your ground. 